I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. An Aurora 16 year old boy is dead and two other teens are injured after two separate shootings in Aurora this weekend. The, the deadly shooting happened here in the area of 12th Avenue in Ironton. Community activists say gun violence is an epidemic in Aurora that has been ignored for too long. Monday, Douglas County will take its mask debate to court. The school district has sued the new health department over its mask exemption policy. The health department says it creates parental choice. The district says it puts students at risk. The Denver Art Museum welcomed visitors to its brand new reimagined campus on Sunday. The $175 million renovation was years in the making. The best time to check it out would be November 6th and 9th when admission is free. A huge warm up for tomorrow here across the Front Range out ahead of a cold front that's coming our direction. 80 degrees will be that afternoon high as we really warm things up. Now going into our hourly planner for the day, we'll be in the 60s as we get toward lunchtime, 70s by the early afternoon with an expected high around 80 degrees. Now as that cold front rolls into Colorado, we'll see the snow start off to our west first, light amounts of snowfall here through western Colorado, and then we'll see rain here into the afternoon and evening for the front range behind that front here comes temperatures in the 50s a huge cool down for us on our seven day forecast but then we recover pretty well through the end of the week back up around 70 degrees but once we get to sunday of course we're looking forward to the bronco game on sunday afternoon versus the washington football team we'll be at 51 degrees at kickoff 56 by halftime and 50 by the end of the fourth quarter with mostly cloudy skies in the meantime it looks like a roller coaster ride on our seven day forecast all right, thank you, Stacy. This has been your Denver 7 on-demand update. Thank you for joining us. Check back here later tonight for another update. I'm Jacqueline Allen.